Hey guys, how's it going? Sight for you. Today, I'm going to be bringing you guys another Siege video. Now, a lot of you are probably surprised by this because most of our recent uploads have been mainly just Valorant, and I apologize for that, but you guys can expect a lot more Siege content in the future here because I know a lot of you want it. So if you are new here, go ahead and click that subscribe button because it'll help us out a lot and you won't miss any of our videos. But anyways, in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can control your recoil better and just generally how to be better in Rainbow Six Siege. So a shout out to our R6B team for giving a lot of input and feedback on this video make sure to go show them some love because without them this video wouldn't be possible so keeping it real as possible the best way and the most effective way of mastering recoil patterns and recoil control is literally just going to a t-hunt or a custom game and just practicing that one gun over and over and over again until you finally have mastered and have the muscle memory now to now control that recoil because that way you're just getting a lot of experience and you're getting a lot of practicing because honestly practice is the best way you can get better at something but there are a lot of tips that i can give you guys to help you out besides just sitting in custom games and terrorist hunt for endless of hours and the main one is going to be don't change your sensitivity because when you change your sensitivity that is basically deleting all of your previous learned muscle memory and your previous learned recoil patterns and just the movement of your mouse all of that is completely now erased and you're basically starting from scratch now i bet when i put it that way it seems it seems kind of scary but in all reality that's exactly what it does and that's why if you're one of those people that change your sensitivity on a weekly habit or even a daily habit i really advise you to stop because believe it or not i was actually one of those people too i used to change my sensitivity like each week and i was a decent player but it was really capping me of what my, my potential could have been so just sticking to one sensitivity for a long period of time is going to help you guys a lot out in the long run and i promise you you won't regret it and just a little quick tip is the practice the recoil patterns of the guns you like using so say if you're you like going ash or you like going zafia go ahead and just master the main primaries because when you're actually practicing with something learning with something that you actually enjoy it's going to make the learning experience a lot funner and and overall just more enjoyable now sectioning into the next main tip and that is going to be using the right attachments whether that be the right barrel or grip now for those of you who don't know the angled grip doesn't control your recoil as much as the vertical grip and that is because the angled grip increases increases your ADS speed while the vertical grip decreases your recoil. So if you guys are going for the, trying to get the least amount of recoil, I would really recommend the vertical grip. But personally, I actually like the angled grip. And for the barrel, I would recommend either going muzzle brake or DMRs. And I would use flash hider for most of the SMGs or assault rifles because you don't really want to be using compensator that much. We find that compensator actually doesn't help your recoil that much compared to the other their options and generally it makes your recoil more inconsistent but for some guns for example like mirrors vector it actually works better than the other barrels so this is going to be something that you're gonna have to test around for a couple guns and find out yourself which barrel you like better but those are just our recommendations and honestly for the grips it's really just mainly based around your play style are you more of an aggressive player or for example you used a lot of three speeds or are you one of those support players that sit back and just hold on the fort for your roamers because because a roamer or a three speed is gonna probably need that slight advantage of the quicker ADS so he has that slight advantage to get the kill on his enemy while the person holding down the fort and holding the angle is not gonna get much benefit out of the angled grip and it would probably be a lot more useful for them to use the vertical grip so keep that in mind when you're choosing your attachments another thing that'll help you guys a lot when you're trying to get a kill or control your recoil is actually having good crosshair placement I have a crosshair placement video if you guys want to go Go check that out uh, to go into in depth of what cross hair placement is and how to improve it but basically if your cross hair placement is bad it's going to make your ability to control recoil a lot worse and just make your recoil a lot more inconsistent because if for example you have bad cross hair placement and you're not aiming head height when you go to pull down your crosshair is going to be in random places all the time going to be in random places all the time and that's going to make the recoil experience different every time because you're going to have to be adjusting and compensating for your bad crosshair placement so therefore if you keep it consistent and you're always aiming head height then you're gonna have the same outcome or at least really similar experiences when it comes to controlling your recoil and adjusting and adjusting to the enemy now that's mainly the most important tips so transitioning and actually and how you can practice efficiently go ahead and go to a terrorist hunt 
or a custom match, whichever you would like. And just go ahead and pick your favorite gun and operator. And you can practice your recoil by just aiming at the wall without controlling recoil and then take note of where the recoil went. And now you wanna try and counter that recoil whenever you shoot now. But shooting at the wall and learning which direction it goes, if you shoot at the wall and it goes a little to the left, then go ahead, the next time you're shooting, just pull it down to the right. This is how you counter it. And we would really recommend actually practicing this in a terrorist hunt because you're actually gonna have moving players and moving enemies. This way it's gonna be easier to put yourself into real scenarios that will happen in game and help you learn muscle memory of how to counter interact the recoil when something isn't just standing still and for the last and final quick little tip is to be aware when you are using a large magnification scope like an ACOG or a sniper scope because your perceived recoil is going to be greatly increased when you have a higher zoomed optic and that's mainly just because you're zoomed in closer to the target but anyways guys that's pretty much it for all of our tips i really hope you guys enjoyed i really hope you guys enjoyed our first sage video in a long time let me know if these tips helped you out and let me know some of your guys's own that you guys may have because i love answering your guys's comments and and seeing a different perspective but with that being said don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time peace